and we are taking part in international debating championships between the students from the UK and our local students in Cambodia. Springboard has organized a very special event this year by adding the international debating championship to the Fort UK Education Fair 2012. The purpose of the competition or the championship is to promote the sharing knowledge between students from the UK and Cambodia. And we are optimistic that this competition will help to improve a better education in Cambodia. This is the first international debate competition or championship that we have met. It's a kind and part by the British Council, Cambodian Higher Education Association, and National Institute of Education. And we are strongly that it's important to say that it effectively promotes the education to the young people and that the students participate in this debate we all get a general link from this experience. And now we start the debate, and Her Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, um, the first international debate championship between Cambodian students and the students from the UK. The topic is on the founder. The top belief that the developed world is solely responsible for causing climate change, and therefore, is solely responsible for taking action to address it. And I would like to um, declare that the state on my uh, right side is the Aquatic side from the University of West of England. And, <laughs> and, the, speaker, uh, and the speaker from uh, the left side is the negative side, Vivian Shimmerson University. <laughs> um, on behalf of the heart, I extend a special welcome on chat. or her remarks, I will call on the next speaker to begin his or her address. May I remind you that um, for the format question will be permitted, however, the judge will penalize any debater who interrupt another too lightly or excessively or who lowers the level of debate. The judge will not converse with one another until after they have listened to all the debaters. Um, are there any regarding to this, hope you understand all. And now I would like to call upon the first affirmative speaker to deliver that resolution, definition, discern, and outline the course of the Thank you. Honorable judges, <laughs> my fellow speakers, and the House at large, we on this side of the table we propose the motion that the developed world is solely responsible for causing climate change and is therefore solely responsible for taking action to address it. You see, the developed world started the problem so many years ago through industrialization. They continue to contribute massively to this very problem through their need for commercialization. So it's only fair that they must be solely responsible for fixing the problem. The idea of climate change is very debated. It's something that everyone is 
talking about. The media, scientists, and politicians. The only problem is no one is agreeing about it. Everyone has a different version of, the, of, of events. Some people have even gone as far as suggesting that it doesn't exist. However, for the purposes of this debate, we're going to agree to disagree. We on this side of the table believe that climate change is real, and we therefore invite every one of you to believe that too. We on this side of the table have evidence to prove it. We also have evidence to prove that the developed world has caused it. For example, the sea levels are increasing all over the world, most notably in the Pacific Islands. In the North and South Pole, the ice cap has, has started melting. There are floods all over the country. Some people are even experiencing drought. For many years, however, world leaders have met and talked about climate change, but nothing has yet been done about it. This is because every country prefers to blame another country. India do something about it. No, US do something about it. Oh, UK do something about it. But whilst we're debating this, who should do about it? The ozone layer is getting worse. The ozone layer is going to fail us. And we are going to fail, face the repercussions of it. I am going to begin by speaking about two, issue, two points. My first point is, who are the developed countries? And why should they do everything? My second speaker, Richard, will expand on why developed countries are responsible for climate change. He will also talk about some of the actions that they must take to combat climate change. And finally, from our side of the table, Kenneth will sum up. My first point, who are these developed countries? Well, the, de the general definition of a developed country is one that enjoys economic stability, enjoys some level of good governance, and looks after its residents. However, as you're all aware, there are different degrees of development and different ways of measuring it. If I was to say, who is the most developed country, there'll be a lot of different answers that would come up today. However, I'm going to refer to the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change, which I have right here. And it says that all developed countries have a duty to combat climate change. However, this should be on a basis of equity and in accordance with their common but differentiated responsibilities and respective capabilities. So, by this what we make, we're looking at the countries that cause the most damage. We're also looking at the countries that have the most, uh, the highest capability. So, by this we mean Arab countries, because they do have the money to sort this problem. We talk about the USA, the UK, Russia, France, Germany, Japan, because they have contributed the most to the problem, and even better, they have the money to sort it. So why then, this is my second point, why should the developed countries do something? Why should they do everything? Well, it's no secret that they do have